With summer here and a big heat wave on its way, it was time to turn our attention to the high mountain lakes. These lakes will be fishable well into the fall, but usually at this time of year, I start getting the itch to bust out the float tube and head up into the mountains. My favorite lakes to fish is a small nine acre body of water that holds year round resident brook and brown trout. Brown trout in lakes like this are rare and can be super fun to fish for. Access to this lake has been cut off due to wildfire damage in the area, but together with my brother Adam and his kids, we were able to go check it out. We were able to get a few tugs on a retrieved streamer, but the midday fishing was pretty slow, and we had every intention of continuing to fish until the sun went down, but a big group of people showed up and kind of took the place over. They were nice, but we were more in the mood for some quiet time and solitude. We camped at a small spot on the outlet creek of the lake, then got up early the next morning to check out another slightly bigger lake in the area. I've encountered bears at this camp spot in the past, but luckily we didn't hear any on this trip, or see any. We were able to find a nice spot to stop for snacks along the way and to check out some of the fire damage from a wildfire that had come through a few years back. It was pretty sobering, but also oddly beautiful at the same time.
We arrived at the second lake and amazingly found that there was no one there. After setting up camp, I went out to see if I could coax a few fish out. I tried fishing both a streamer and a hopper imitation cast towards the shore, but was greeted with only mild interest. After deciding to come back to shore and take a break, what I witnessed next was something I haven't seen in recent memory. What unfolded before our eyes was a truly epic Calabatus mayfly hatch, a dance of aquatic insects, a bloom of laced wing trout snacks, and yet very few fish showed any interest in it. We tried to avoid camping right next to people, but yet again, some folks showed up and wanted to camp right next to us on the lake. They were also quite nice, but I generally prefer to have the place to myself if possible. This is the curse of camping on the weekends in the summer, I guess.
was a hard fight. Now I want to try to get a few more. Let's do it. we're gonna wrap this one up it's uh, been one of those trips uh, we started a couple days ago and you, you, you've heard me mention this already but you know, we started the first lake looking for <clears throat> browns you know brown trout in a mountain lake is a just a rare treat right so uh, and we just got thwarted and people you know people people have every right to come out and do this and, and should really really should but you know doesn't mean I always want to hang around them. I get to hang around people in the city long enough. You know. uh, second lake we got into, uh, great. Had it, had it to ourselves for a little while, but then more people showed up as, as usual. But it used to be expected. It's it's a summer weekend, and uh, we're about to enter a really, really, really hot stretch here. So I'm trying to kind of get my fishing in, either high up in the mountains or just in these, you know, these kind of higher up mountain streams, but really before the heat of the day warms the water up. Just, just trying to be nice for the fish. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a trip. It's been a trip of the pivot. That's the w best way I can describe it. Is we've we had to pivot, and uh, we finally came out of the mountains, came down to this little uh, this little river here that I've been fishing since I was a teenager, and it's fun. It's gone through a, a fire uh, recently, but. Uh, you know the river's still flowing and there's still fish in the river and so throwing a uh throwing a sculptzilla throwing the streamer down through there and caught some nice fish so that's generally a sign that you know i don't need to be greedy it's getting hot so uh yeah i think it might be time to go find a, a good meal and uh and uh maybe a cold beer but uh i don't know i think that i think really i'm i'm reminded of this lesson of really just the pivot just you know when things aren't working you can uh you can sit there and complain about it you can be in a bad mood about it or you can just change i heard it once said that the best thing that you can uh change and the one thing you have control over is your attitude so but uh i'll also throw in you can change your location and uh come down to the river and catch some fish and so uh that's been great i also wanted to say recently uh the subscriber count has shot up and uh thank you uh from the bottom of my heart uh this is definitely a labor of love and uh i love doing it but boy does it take a lot of time and uh uh but that's okay because you know the things you love you should be you should be careful with and, and take care and be you know show sh let your passion show so i just want to say thanks for everybody that just recently subscribed thanks for the people that have been subscribed for a long time you know uh really it's it's it all helps, you know, they'll be get, they'll get to be a point where, you know, it's going to be harder and harder to say thanks to everybody, but I'll just say, say it right now. So with that, I think I got to put some air in my tires and uh, hit the highway. So uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for coming along for the journey. Cheers.